Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undalt Breakfast with Cthulhu's. In our last episode, we conquered Nubia, so now we own the majority of Africa, excluding, of course, Abyssinia and Canarius. In between episodes, I have set all these counties to be pillaged, <laughs> so you can expect a hefty amount of revolting and whatnot. Though we might get lucky and uh, not have as many as I expect there will be. I have also taken the time to clear out my court, so I did that by releasing all the foreign prisoners and banishing everyone else, which is why my piety has just completely gone into the red. I did it all for you guys, and for myself as well. Um, and I've also meticulously gone through my list of courtiers and asked them to ask some of the ones that I didn't want to leave. So uh, I kept the ones with unique bloodlines and whatnot, or at least the ones that could still um, have children, etc., etc. So hopefully we should see some children being born and whatnot. Speaking of children, in our last episode I tried to get Sovix to join the Warrior Lodge several times, but she failed every single time. Which is really weird to me because her personal combat skill wasn't that bad. But she kept failing. So I kind of wonder if maybe she's bugged? Like, I can tell that the game is lagging when I have my mouse cursor over her. It doesn't happen with anyone else. I've never had this happen before with any character ever. So I think that maybe she's bugged. I know she's also got some wounds and infections, so she may actually die. I'm really hoping that she doesn't. I gave her the uh, honorary title to boost up her prestige and whatnot, but I don't know if that's really going to help. All right, well, without further ado, let's get some more boats and uh, get ready for major, major revolts. Yep, there it is. Two revolts right off the bat. My Fezite Uprising and uh, another one. A Sunni revolt. Oh, thankfully we've got a stack right on top of the Sunni one, so that should be done and dusted. Thank you. And the Maya Fezite one should be fairly easy to take care of as well. You know what, I'm actually going to send the stack into the uh, heart of Africa here. So that we can um, deal with the rebellions that might happen there uh, easier. And we lost our Chancellor. Unfortunate. Right, who wants to be my new Chancellor? Her? I guess? I mean... Uh, do we have anyone better? No, you know what? I think she'll be fine. Hopefully. Though I can't ask her to convert to my religion or anything like that, which definitely would help. And I'm really hoping that Sovix here just pulls through. You know what, girl? Just don't worry about uh, joining the Warrior Lodge. Maybe when we take over um, as you, perhaps then we'll try our hand. I don't understand why she keeps failing at it, though. Very bizarre. I've never had that happen before. And we've had several rebellions pop up at the same time, no less. Good grief. Yeah, I don't need that. I'd rather save all my piety, thanks. Really? Oh, shoot. I forgot to do something. I forgot to attack this little girl. Alright, let me uh, kill this little girl first and then we'll move on. Thank you. That's great. You're done, little girl. You're done. Alright, so let's move on to that uh, boat. And I think we might be able to go... ...jump on these dudes very quickly. Where are they headed? Nafusa. Can you guys... Can one of you guys go deal with that, please? Jeez. Yeah, I don't care about no stone quarry, all right? Go. Deal with them. I guess the Silk Road trade posts are being upgraded. Yeah, sure. Give me a sec. Let's wait until all of them are done uh, upgrading and then we'll move on to do them all at the same time or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Wait. Who are these guys? Uh, what now? Oh, oh, I see. Inside there, got it. 
Cool, cool, cool. And... Tib decided to appear unannounced at my court this morning, claiming that he is pleased by my leadership and that he wishes to follow my progress as Pontifex Maxima more closely while providing me with his priceless advice. Um... Absolutely not. I, sp I literally spent like two to three hours kicking everyone out of my court. I will not have people crawl their way back into my fucking court after I spent... Oh... For the better part of my evening dealing with this nonsense. I don't care, alright? People can freaking uh, forge as many claims to my land as they want. It's really not going to get them anywhere. Thank you. Okay, so at least that's been dealt with. Good grief. Oh, sweet mama. <laughs> ah, grant me patience. Um, you know what? Let's actually go do deal with that and you guys can go deal with that. Perfect. You're not even in my court. Why are you giving me your approval? I don't need your fucking seal of approval. What are you, like Commander Shepard and you prove this leadership? No. Get out of here. Jeez. Fucking people need to mind their own business. Good grief. Alright, go deal with that. Come on. No, no, no. I don't understand how... What? Why are they... It's weird that they stopped moving there in the first place. Oh, I see. Okay, go land right on top of their dicks. In the least sexual of ways. Thank you, and you guys are... Um... Oh, you know what happened? I think... Uh, me sieging down this place, or pillaging this place, has caused a rebellion to happen for Abyssinia. <laughs> nice. That is pretty awesome. Pretty hilarious. Uh, the flooded armory in Manan. The quartermaster noticed it first, Alda says, clearly disgruntled by the ordeal. We have cleaned out what we could, but I'm afraid there's still some items un unaccounted for, mistress. My marshal says, avoiding my eyes. So I lose 750 gold. Okay. Or I lose my heavy male horse armor. Um. Well. I mean, you know what? We've got the money. Let's just try to uh, save our heavy horse armor. Why not? Even though it unfortunately does nothing for me. Ah. You're done and dusted. Get out of here. Just be glad you uh, leave with your testicles intact, buddy. Because the ecumenical patriarch was not that lucky. Uh, oh, I see. Deal with that, please. Thank you. Sweet. And how is Sovix, by the way? Is she feeling any better? Still got her infection, still got her wound. So we're not quite out of the forest just yet. Knock on wood. Okay, I get it. Thank you. I'm starting to wonder if maybe turning off this notification might be a better idea. Um, but I know for a fact that if I turn this off, come next campaign, I'm going to wonder where it all went. And I'm going to blame the game. Most likely, anyways. Can you actually catch up to these guys? I don't understand how the revolt armies move so quickly. It's pretty crazy. All right, you are done. Get the hell out of here. Ah, that's the other stack. Oh, I see what's happening there. Okay, no, you're done. Go home. Go the fuck home. Wait, what happened to... Oh, really? 345 dudes are making trouble for me? Okay. Great. Where are these guys? Wait, down there? No, is it? It could be, actually. Mm, ah, I see. Right next to my uh, present stack. See how quickly they move? It's crazy. How do they move so fast? Oh, look at that. Ain't that a thing of beauty. They've got the Ashina and Leather Pants blood. Fantastic. Alright. 
That is them, and that is them. Sweet. Oh, good grief. All right, I really wish that these things would just all happen at the same time. Sadly, it will not. Nope, the build times vary. So, of course, all right. We're getting through them though, guys. I apologize for this. But, uh, we're getting through them. Alright, cool. Oh, so in between episodes, I actually realized that the reason why we haven't been getting, uh... Piety from our temple vassals is because they actually need the temple building in order to get uh, Piety to liege. Yeah, for... For the longest time, I was not aware that you actually needed the temple um, building itself, not just the holding, to get what you need. Yep, nope, I don't need any uh, fancy schmancy Haru spicy. Thank you very much. I have enough spicy food as it is. Thank you. So how close are we to laying waste to uh, all this new territory of ours? Turns out, not that close. Shit, really? After all I've been through? Still, we have not been able to burn down the entire, uh, fucking planet to ashes? I guess we can advance an economy, right? Alright, cool. So let's start upgrading our holding yet again. And we'll also gather up our boats. Can I get some more? Uh, maybe I'll wait. Let's get the riding contest, thank you. And I see that I still got the blessing of the one-day building thing. Still not entirely sure how this happened, but uh, like I said, I'm not about to kick a gift horse in the teeth here. And Sovix, still injured and wounded, or still wounded and uh, infected. Good grief, girl. Uh, my steward wants to build a, um, what's it, a monument for nearly 9,000 buckaronis. Sure, I mean, I got the money. We might as well just spend it on something. I was thinking about um, spending on a, like a golden, solid gold, uh, um, or rather a toilet uh, made of skulls dipped in solid gold. I think that would have been quite fantastic. Nah, I don't care about no stupid trade route. Pretty good, thanks. Okay. We're starting to make a little bit of progress, and as soon as I say that, of course, we are beset with yet another rebellion, which has been dealt with already. Wow. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that uh, given the very, very large field that we're, uh, or large tract of land that we're dealing with, maybe I should keep all my troops here and not worry about invading another place for now. Because my plan was actually to... Uh, go up north to invade the British Isles. Taos was killed by Fuhugu gods. Great. And Satanic is my new... Oh, holy crap, look at her. Wow, wow, wee wow. She would make a rather fantastic commander. Uh, let's have her replace this dude. Yeah. Oh, my niece would actually make a pretty good commander too. Um... I like this guy for his traits, though. Uh, you know what? Nice, go for it. Oh, no. Shit, someone has founded the, um, the satanic cult in our, uh, realm here. Ooh, shoot, I forgot to, uh, loot this province. My bad. Uh, that place is here, yes? Okay. Let's try to get that done. Bacchants in the woods. Believed to be vanquished for centuries, the mad followers of Bacchus have res resurfaced, spreading their grotesque beliefs throughout the uh, civilized lands. Slaves to their most primal desires, these deviants hide their twisted allegiance to the darkest powers of chaos during daytime, walking inconspicuously amongst the virtuous. Yet when night comes, they gather in the wilderness to dance around fires while dressed like goats and leopards, uh, performing obscene orgiastic rites and consuming raw human flesh. That sounds like a pretty good Friday night, I would say. 
orgiastic rites and uh, devouring of human flesh is, of course, how I spend my Friday nights. Okay, so you've got what kind of blood? Hey! Oh, looks like my nephew's been porking my Cirrus. Good for you, bub. Good for you. Although, if you had had a child with your... Great. What? Oh, right, right. It's because of that. I was like, huh, I didn't go pillage any um, foreign lands, but no, I did. Well, I mean, not really pillage, but you know. Okay, Sovix, I'm just going to occasionally check on her to make sure that she's alive and kicking. Or at least turn into a, a full-fledged zombie. Um, What was I doing? Oh, right. The society thing. 80%. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Lack of ambition. Sure, I guess I'll help you out. Can I become humble? You want me to do what? Focus on carousing. I guess. You know what? Sure, let's do it. Let's focus on carousing. Sounds good. And let me invite my daughter to carousing. Maybe we can uh, patch things up and not be rivals anymore. Maybe that's why she's been failing. Because she's my rival and... Um, I'm the head of our warrior lodge thing. Though... I mean, I've had the same conditions before. Okay, you become ambitious and we become close friends. Great. And my daughter has refused my uh, invitation to go boozing. What self-respecting child would not want to go on a massive bender fest that might end up in an orgy with their parents? What the hell? This is so unrealistic. Alright, let's have you go deal with that, please. And where's the other stack? That's not them. Oh, these guys. Alright, cool. Thanks. You're dead. Merry Christmas. And I believe the trade posts are ready to be upgraded. Oh, sorry, nope. Wrong thing. There you go. Small mercenary garrison. Otherwise, Silk Road trade post, please. Thank you. Sweet. That being said, though, I mean... <laughs> we don't really gain that much money from um, upgrading these things anyway, so... It really doesn't matter in the end, I would say. Okay. Sunni Uprising right there. Deal with that, and you guys are about to descend upon them. We're good. And I'm back in the green with my, uh... Uh, piety. Holy crap, holy. Wow. Huh. Uh, you know what? Good job. Good job. Ah, oh, really? No one accepted my <laughs> invite to carousing? Can I do it again? Ah, uh, look, she's no longer wounded and all that crap. Good. I'm still not sure why I can't send her to be a mercenary. Seems a little odd that I can't send her away. I feel like there's a lot of conflict happening between, um... Uh, Hellenistic and, uh, Horse Lord. Though, maybe that's not it? I'm not sure. You're done, and you're not quite done, but you're willing to wipe these. So we're good. Thank you. Okay. All is well. Dare we send Sovix out to uh, try her hand again? She's got 55 personal combat skills. She's got to be able to join now, right? There's no way that she's gonna fail. It's got to be a bug. There's no other explanation for this. It's got to be a bug. There's something wrong with Sovix. Not only is she like the worst genius heir I have ever had in my entire time playing CK2. But something is very wrong with her. <laughs> Maybe she is the... It's like... She's not like the Antichrist, because the Antichrist actually does exist in uh, CK2. But maybe she's like... The Anti-CK2 or something. Maybe she's like the culmination 
of every single bug in the game just made flesh. Good grief. The Fault in the Stars. After having consulted with some of the world's most respected diviners and having analyzed sightings from several realms, I have come to the conclusion that we are entering into a favorable period of our time. The skies are clear, the weather is stable, no misalignment of the heavenly bodies threatens us with doom. Being the Pontifex Maxima, it is my duty to communicate these uh, findings to all notable Hellenic rulers. Better interpretation. Um, sure, I guess. Why not? In the meantime, uh, Sovix, why don't you just chillax? I, I'm not going to try to recruit her again, ever. Just pure unadulterated garbage. Just the worst. I don't understand. Why? Why is this happening to me? Uh, let's send my marshal to take care of it, please. Hopefully you do a better... What? Aldo arrives bruised and alone from his venture. First off, Alda is a proud, strong woman. Unfortunately, she brings the news that she has been unable to fight off the raiders from our lands. What the fuck? Good grief! I think the game is broken. I think I've like inevitably somehow caused the game to explode in a fiery ball visible from space and I forgot to pillage that holding. Good grief. A rotting library in Massania. It started out as a strange smell and could have gone unnoticed for weeks. Had I not been down there recently, my seeress explains a hint of pride in her voice. This way, my lady, she says, leading me into the flooded room. The smell makes my nose itch. I'd rather not lose on Nomadic Warfare. I know I've got two copies of it, but still, please, don't bother me about these fucking petty thieves. I just don't care. I don't know how much I have to tell you that I just don't give a flying fuck about your stupid petty thieves. How? I would also like to get the wolf's blood thing into our uh, family if that's at all possible. The wait. How did she get it? Because it seems to have skipped a generation. Hmm. That is interesting. That is interesting. All right, we must be getting close to the end though, right? We must be getting close to the end of all these revolts and such. Yeah, I think we're getting there, guys. I think we're getting there. And I apologize that this entire episode has been nothing but dealing with revolts and such. But uh, sometimes you just kind of need to take a step back and, you know, watch things unfold, as it were. And be ready to deal with the massive ass blasting that you have to dole out on a daily basis. Okay, so I think our trade posts are almost all upgraded. Thank you. What the hell? I'm sorry, why were these places not being pillaged? I swear I did not miss these. I did. I, that's exactly what happened, isn't it? What about this place? Being sieged down. Being sieged down. Siege. Siege. Ah, except for the place that we took from that little girl. Which has now been just completely annihilated. Great. Shit, what was I doing? Oh, wait, trade posts. Hmm. Let's set these to upgrade some more. Oh, wait, no, those are, uh... My bad. I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, small mercenary garrison. Thank you. Some more. Got some more. Sweet. Yep. Not that I uh, need these, but still, just out of the interest of uh, completion's sake or whatever. Yeah, don't care about no stupid stone quarry. What are the chances that these places would rebel? 13.5% chance. Doctor? Sure. 2,000 bucks. Wow, wow, wee wow. Hope that's worth it, buddy. Hope that's worth it. Okay, special interest in eunuchs, but frowns on concubines. You know what? Makes sense, considering that uh, we have a female emperor on the throne. How about I send, a, you, send you a eunuch in the form of Haystein the Fox, or Fuhugu Gods. 
Wait, I have a genius son? I guess I do. Um, is this guy, you know what? Let's just send him anyways, whatever. Who cares? I can also send concubines if I... Oh, right, right. They'd be more like consorts, I suppose. Yeah, no, I don't think I need to send any of that. What if I do an imperial marriage? I can't, right? Because Sylvix is... What the fuck? Okay, for a second I thought it just automatically uh, shut itself off or something. Like, nope, Sylvix ain't ha having none of that shit. Okay, so now that uh, all these places have been more or less completely sieged down, let's get ready to send our troops up to... Um, up to uh, the British Isles. I apologize for that weird lapse in uh, in my verbal uh, ability. If that makes any sense. Nope, don't need any of that. Don't need that either. Aha! It's the start of a legend. For the Olympian champions, I proclaim, raising my glass. The cheers around the table are, bo are boisterous, and the air hangs heavy with anticipation. There is nothing left here to conquer, someone laughs, raising an eyebrow conspiratorially. Anna mumbers, uh, mumbers? Mummer, murmurs, have you ever been to the Abbasid Empire? It's actually one of the other, one of the few um, independent uh, realms in the world. So yes, let's do it. Let's go to the Abbasid Empire and go kick some teeth. Who else is in my... If Marios actually succeeds with me, we might be able to get a few... Uh, a few bloodlines. To bolster her confidence for our adventure into the opposite empire, I am showing Anna around my trophy room. You are a collector of skulls then, the woman com comments before interrupting herself. Oh, but this one would make a fine chalice. Yes, I'll have someone fashion a cup out of one of these. So I take someone's skull and then I turn it into a cup. Fan fucking tastic. I love it. What a very uh um I guess What? My husband dead? Shit, I didn't even know he had cancer. What an asshole. Fuck me. Alright, well, who should we marry now? Mmm. None of these guys like me. Why don't you like me? Shit. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting this. Um... Sure. Men who are not married. I don't know if I should be looking for more bloodlines. Maybe I should look for genius dudes. Uh, for who gods? I can't marry my son? Or can I? Nope. I can marry them to his aunt, um, but sadly, I can't marry my own son, which is unfortunate. Ah, maybe I look outside of my realm. But who's got the right bloodline, though? Uh, Sovix, you've got what blood again? Oh, you've got the Dulo blood. Right, right. Hmm. Then maybe I should try to marry someone who's also got the Dulo blood just to kind of, you know, do a continuation of the whole thing. Hmm. You know what, though? I think I might actually just go with someone who's got genius. Just in case things don't work out for Sovix. If she's, like, bugged or whatever, right? This guy ain't married, right? No, he's not. And he's a Chinese prince, too. Alright, well, uh, let's try to get this guy into my court. He doesn't appear to have any kind of um, special position in his court right now, so there you go. Alright, buddy. Get right in there. Time has come for us to move into enemy territory. Anna and I are toasting once more to the Olympian champions. We shall find their most experienced warriors and show them what it means to be Alan. I declare, everyone shall know our name, she agrees, slamming her fist into the table. Yes, together we are stronger. Fantastic. Alright, buddy. You and me, we're getting married. You, pork me right now before I go on my journey. Pork me for good luck. People are trying to kill me. What? Why? 
How dare they? Unbelievable. What the fuck? Guys, not cool, man. Not cool. Sure, why not? Cultural technology thing. Having spent the entire evening drinking and talking around the campfire with my traveling companions, I finally bid them good night. On my way back to my sleeping spot, I pause, nearby. Leaning against a dead tree is a man tending to nature's call. An enemy, I yell, more surprised than alarmed. Let's deal with the man who is currently taking a dump. He does not like me. Apparently, I revoked his titles. You know what? You die. I'll beat under the influence, the battle stance comes naturally to me. My opponent staggers backwards in surprise, almost tripping over the dried up tree trunk. The dried up tree trunk is of course a euphemism for his hardened shit. Uh, before he has time to catch up, I thrust my spear hard into his chest. The surprise is clear on his face as blood fills his mouth. I must have hit something important. I hit his sphincter in the middle of his chest. Fantastic. I think... Let's see if we can actually um, complete this journey before we end the episode. Having turned in for the night, I find myself wide awake listening to the snoring of Anna. Just as I'm about to get up and do something about my irritation, I hear a rustling in the bushes. It intensifies. Before I can get to my feet, I find a man leaning over me, eyeing me suspiciously, a weapon aimed at my throat. Kill him. As soon as the camp is out of earshot, my opponent draws his weapon, Wind moves over the moonlit meadow, the grass bending in the waves, causing it to look as if the ground itself is breathing under our feet. This is too easy, I murmur. Then I put the spear through his head. Fantastic. And I hope we're wielding the Spear of Leonidas. <laughs> of course, a reference to the hit video game Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, these places have been almost completely... Completely siege down. Not quite there just yet for the few of these places. But these guys should be able to mobilize now. And we are, of course, disgustingly over the supply limit. Which is quite unfortunate. Thankfully, we haven't really had much of a casualty situation just yet. Knock on wood. The finest warrior around? Well, that would be Murad, mistress, a little girl says. Anna fishes a coin from her pockets, rewarding the urchin with for the information. There he is, the child suddenly cries, pointing at a Bedouin man down on the street, or down the street. Um, I don't want to lose Brave. Let's go kill his ass. Anna motions for people to get out of the way. Just before Murad lunges at me, indignity on his face, I parry immediately, defending myself well, judging by the excited cheers of our spectators. At the end of it all, the crowd has grown still, the streets flowing the blood of their Bedouin warrior. Dead. Sweet. And how are you guys doing? Split up again, I guess. Uh, can I actually get a stack into Alexandria? Thanks. My marshal has discovered a woman of great military talent, Natya, who is blind in one eye. And my marshal is dead. That was her last act. Uh, niece? Sure. Let's have you be my marshal. She's good enough, I'd say. Yeah. We're fine. Thanks. Yep, yep, got it, got it. Cool. Enough of that. Just focus on the thing. I partaken in a local tournament and I have been knocking out Bedouin fighters with ease. Grinning, I search the crowd for the face of Anna who has been cheering me on. I find her looking a bit pale. Turning to face my final foe, I hear someone in the uh, shouting an in, in introduction. Jabril the Giant! Finally, a challenge. <laughs> The crowd is cheering loudly as the giant uh, looms over me. All the men I have fought so far pale in comparison. Do die now! The beast of a man roars, swinging a massive club. When it falls to hit, when it fails to hit me and bites the ground, the earth shakes. As he moves to lift it again, I strike. The crowd falls silent. I am sorry it had to end this way. Big boy McGee is dead, as shit. And a daughter is born. Fantastic. Maybe she's the reincarnation of that dude. Rumors of my adventures have been spreading here in the Abbasid Empire, and I've received a personal invite from Caliph Arif III to appear at his court to the brute Marios. If you insist on causing trouble like this, you will find someone I choose, the pompous messenger reads. Let's do it. Barnabas the Lion, 
who is a bear. <laughs> a brute gets to fight a brute, Khalif Ar Arif III proclaims, gesturing to the stage where, That's a bear, I say, clearly less alarmed than expected. I have fought bears before, I continue picking up my spear. The creature roars. While the uh, ensuing fight takes time, the monster soon lies at my feet. Dead as shit. And <laughs> the mayor bear made a very human noise as he died. But that's fair enough. Okay, so can we come back from our thing? Or maybe. Maybe we end the episode off here for now and then we'll... Uh... <laughs> you know what? Let's do that. I'll leave you guys with a cliffhanger. Uh, I'll leave you guys here, and then we'll come back tomorrow to see the a successful conclusion, hopefully, of our legendary journey. And uh, you'll see what uh, bloodline we end up with. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!